In this video, I'll be exploring real world use cases, the agents built using Copilot Studio. Now I have collected this information from different websites, from different sources and try to consolidate in one particular piece of document. This is on basis of a request from one of the user who has requested me to uh, specify uh, what are the different uh, types of agents people have built for their organization. Now, these are some of the possibilities and some of the ideas, and some of them are real world uh, scenario as well. So let's jump into uh, different categories. So first we'll go into the category of department, and then we will go into different structures and different purposes why the agent was built. Now, from a department perspective, we have this customer service. So mainly uh, you can build an agent for customer service. So it will handle customer support requests like support ticket. Uh, it can have a centralized uh, frequently asked questions. And then with that centrally, centralized frequently asked question, uh, the agent can automatically search for the information requested by the user and provide to uh, the end user. Uh, in a nice formatted way, depending on the context on which that question is asked. Finance, it can be used for payroll uh, management. It can be used for budgeting. So if uh, user have a question uh, on uh, how to do the budgeting for the next year, depending on the how we did the budgeting for the previous year, or maybe uh, the, uh, any information or questions about payroll tax, whether the payroll tax has been paid or whether we are um, formulating uh, a specific compliance related requirements or uh, related to payroll. So those all things can be addressed using the finance part. Now we, for HR uh, or human resources or people and culture uh, uh, department, we can have a leave management or benefits or policies kind of a questions being asked by the user uh, so that the user can know uh, how many leaves are remaining, how can that user take a leave, or what are the different benefits that are provided by the organization. So maybe some organization may provide benefits related to uh, stationary equipment purchase, or maybe uh, some organization may provide, uh, uh, say, leave uh, in a leave in lieu of uh, extra work which you have done. Or maybe some organization may provide you a set of policies and procedures related to uh, say documentation or maybe related to the leave policy or maybe related to uh, the benefits which the organization provides you now uh, from a uh, it perspective uh, again this is all related to support request asset management so take for example if a user joins in an organization then if you want to automate the onboarding process and one of the onboarding activity would be like before a user joins in that person's asset, uh, like say the computer or a laptop should be ready by the time that person joins the organization. So auto provisioning of asset. If you already have an asset, that asset can be repurposed. Or if you do not have an asset, depending on who joins the organization, so take for example, if an architect joins an organization or a developer joins an organization, then that person needs to uh, be presented with a laptop or a system uh, with, uh, of higher configuration. So maybe 32 gigs of RAM or an i7 core processor. So those kind of things can be automated using the agent. Now uh, for operations, uh, the user can search for a content. They can manage inventory. So if you have an inventory management system uh, whereby you can check the stock reorder level, uh, you can check whether the stock exists, if whether the stock has been purchased and whether the stock is in the right condition to be shipped or delivered. From a sales management perspective, we can use it for upselling or cross-selling of the product. From a marketing perspective, we can uh, configure the email preference management for that specific user. Uh, so if the user decides that, hey, user didn't want to receive any sort of marketing information, then all those uh, settings can be uh, tracked by the agent and set by an agent request. Now, this is from a high level department perspective, but if we move ahead, we have an industry. So we have travel, transport, professional services, government, retail, healthcare, financial services. So all this uh, industry can have a specific set of agents. So for travel and transport, it will be all about managing the bookings. 
uh, whether it's a flight, whether it's a hotel, whether it's a, a refund request, those things can be done using the agent. From a professional services, generating leads for a specific engagement, like if you have done a trade show or a conference, uh, and then you might have collected a lot of uh, information about the contacts who have participated in the trade show, then you can use a lead generation module to basically generate the lead or coordinate with the lead and eventually convert the lead into opportunity. Then for a government entity, uh, if there are any new public programs or initiatives that has been uh, opened by an organization or a government organization, then providing information about the benefit schemes provided by the government or uh, if you want to know about some sort of a compliance requirement related to uh, say building management infrastructure those all things can be addressed by the government uh, related agents now we have retail for retail it can be used for managing the orders so if you are a uh, locked in uh, user then you will be presented with the screen of the product catalog you can order the specific product or maybe you can initiate a request so that if the product is not available then you may get a notification that the inf if in the future the product gets available, then you will receive a notification and then you can start purchasing the order. So those all things can be uh, automated using the retail management board. Now for healthcare uh, insurance, so claim management. So if you are claiming for an insurance, then you can uh, utilize the board. For financial services, then we have education like admission management, checking aid. So uh, a user or like a student, if he wants to, he or she wants to basically uh, check the facilities provided by the university, how the admission process works, uh, whether the aid are available for a specific course or what are the different grades that are available uh, and how many credits needs to be earned for a specific set of program within, an, uh, within a university program. Uh, for manufacturing, again, checking the stock, checking the reorder level. So this is at an industry level. Now, if you see the types of agent, now, these are the different set of agents which are uh, I have taken it from the Copilot Studio interface itself or I have looked into various use cases which uh, people have created to build around the agent. Now, some of the example is uh, IT help desk agent. Again, this is all about uh, customer support uh, request, uh, centralizing the frequently asked questions, device refresh agent. So this is all about um, say collecting uh, information around user system and also suggesting if a device refresh is required for that specific user. Like uh, in an organization, maybe you may want to refresh your hardware every five years or every six years, then uh, based on the inventory records, those particular user will be either provided with some sort of a, uh, a request or to refresh the device, or maybe that user can uh, go ahead and initiate a new purchase. So those kind of agents. Lead generation agent, which we already talked about, then we have project tracker agent, which will give you the project management related in, uh, information around the project program portfolio. Budget management agent all around configuring the budgets and informing the users about how the budget has been structured user can ask questions related to the previous years and the future year budgets uh, and also about customer support agent so that's about the different types of agent then if you move ahead we have real world use cases on customer service finance hr sales marketing operations it so we have seen all this different kind of agents which has been built by uh, various organization some of the use cases are in order to reduce the call volume by implementing quick resolution around customer service for finance it will be around saving the time and cost by automating the expense approvals invoice management payroll management for hr it will be around employee satisfaction and retention so benefits leave and absence incident reporting like if you have a workplace health and safety department maybe uh, you will have an incident reporting form so if there is an incident then the user can report that incident within a bot and then the bot can process the information further sales and marketing revolves around promotions email management upselling cross-selling converting the opportunity increasing the upsell operations management around digitizing the paper process so if you are still using the paper based process like uh, utilizing paper and then scanning the paper and then utilizing those uh, paper based 
processes within your organization, then how do we digitize those uh, in terms of say leave management or maybe in terms of invoice approval process or maybe sending out an, a memo to the staff. Search documents, employee safety, manage inventory. So these all comes around operations. And for IT, we have already seen equipment requests, support services, FAQ management, uh, and also resetting password. So if a user has a query on resetting their password, then maybe that IT bot can help you to uh, reset the password by providing an instruction or maybe actually performing a reset password for you, depending on how far you have automated this entire process within your organization. Then moving on to the other part, case management system. So you have a case management system where user can raise a case within the bot. So creation of case, resolution of the case, following up of the case and closing of the case. So you can automate basically key tasks for the case lifecycle using the case management agent. Then we have scheduling operations agents, so which provides an optimized schedules for technicians. So this is around the field service based application where by if you want to configure uh, and schedule a different set of agents or users within your organization or maybe staff or technicians around your organization to various work orders. So if you have if you receive a work order for a month, then you can optimize and provide those schedules for technicians so that uh, the technician's time is utilized to the best extent possible and then the customer is also satisfied based on the resolution uh, depending on how you have scheduled those technicians. Then we have website Q&A. This is mainly around the frequently asked questions. So answers come questions from users using the website content. Uh, there can be bought related to team navigation. So if you want to identify find a colleague within an organization now why do you want to want to find a colleague within your organization maybe you may have a special interest or maybe you want to find uh, a person uh, with a similar skill set within your organization or department or different branch or maybe if you want to uh, uh, initiate a networking or a lead request management process uh, so that you can find out a person who is linked with the prospect or a lead. Uh, IT help desk around creating and supporting ticket, empowering employees to resolve issues. Store operations against uh, revolves around easy access to store policies and procedures. Store operations can be both ways. It can be for an internal staff and also it can be for the end user as well. So basically this talks about the internal users. So if you want to improve the efficiency of the retail frontline workers uh, and also get easy access to store policies and procedures. So take, for example, if someone is sitting at the counter and um, someone has requested for a refund. Now, there are uh, a complex set of procedures around refund. What can be refunded? What cannot be refunded? And also, if there is a recall for a product uh, by, say, some provider, then how do we handle those? So all this information can be accessed using the store operations bot. Then we have safe travel. So if you have some sort of a travel advisory or if you want to request for some information around the visa or ESTA, or if you want to know whether it is safe to fly to a specific country during a specific period of time, uh, and then understand about the culture within that uh, country, then you can use that safe travel bots to know more information about the travel process. So self-help, wellness check, sales qualification agent, uh, awards and recognition. So you can use it to uh, uh, say nominate and recognize employees for their contribution and achievement. So this is also one of the bot uh, which you can configure. Uh, there's a sales order agent, so automate order intake process from entry to confirmation, supplier comms agent, collaboration with suppliers for order delivery, wellness check. This is like uh, the application which has been uh, got a lot of traction. So. Uh, organization can create this wellness check bot so that um, the employees uh, feel, uh, say, uh, they are being taken care of in terms of uh, providing health and wellness related guidance or assistance. Uh, and also it is useful to check and gauge employees morale. So uh, the bot can ask various questions. Of course, these questions will be uh, you know, confidential. And then based on that, the wellness check application will provide some sort of a uh, a therapy for uh, a user or like the staff uh, and then on basis of that the statistics can also be uh, derived 
uh, based on how many people have requested for the wellness check and also uh, what is the general sentiment within the organization. We can have a self-help, enables agent to resolve issues faster. So this is revolving around the customer service uh, and uh, ticket resolution. Inclusivity agent, safe place to ask questions, activate modern and diverse workforce, sustainability insights agent, weather agent, benefits agent, citizen services agent, financial services, financial insights agent. So these are the different kind of agents which have already been used by uh, various organizations. They are using it for time and expense management, so managing the time entry, expense tracking, approval workflow, uh, account reconciliation, finance reconciliation for cleansing the data set, uh, customer intent agent, discovering the new intents from the past and current customer conversation. This, this is also useful for the lead management and account management uh, so that you get to know that if a customer has already purchased, say, X amount of product, then there is a high probability that the person or the customer may purchase that in the next six months or a year or time. Uh, customer knowledge management source information from the knowledge base and support customer. So these are the different set of agent uh, uh, which I have created over here. Uh, like I have worked with a couple of agents and uh, you can expand the agent scope depending on how your organization uh, is utilizing that particular agent to provide services so there is a career coach there is a prompt coach there is a writing coach so these all things are like small small agents within an organization so you can have a one big agent or you can have multiple agents interacting with multiple different sort of uh, agent base so that's it folks this is all about real world use cases uh, which you can uh, see how customers have built uh, the agents the bots the co-pilots uh, in real world using Microsoft Copilot Studio. Thanks for watching.